Hey guys, it's Lyrixy, aka Robbie, and um, today I've got another story for you guys. So, when I was around seven years old, we bought this house in where I'm living now, and up the road there was like this creek. And um, a few weeks after we moved in, me and my brother, and also his little friend, we used to go down to that creek and we used to like just muck around, do shit there, like um. I don't know what we did, it was stupid, it was like trying to find, it was, oh, it's hard to explain, but um, we didn't know what we were doing, we were kids back then, and um, so this guy, my brother's friend, let's call him Chris, okay, and um, Chris, he, uh, his parents were really strict, and they didn't like us going to this creek because there was like water, and there was like eels in the water, and stuff like that, and you can, you can understand why. Anyways, there was this time where he got um, busted for to going and he got grounded for about a week. So I called him up and I was like, hey Chris, do you want to come to the, the, what do you fucking call it? the creek? Do you want to come to the creek? He's like, oh no nah, man, I can't, I got busted last time I went with you, so I'm grounded thanks to you. I was like, alright, um, I'm sorry bro, but um, I'm going to have to do this solo. And um, he's like, alright man, take care, be safe. And then I was like... No worries, man. And I hung up, and um, a couple minutes later, after I hung up, I walked to the park, okay? And um, I took this route that was like, it was on the opposite side of the creek. So I went there, and um, it was like a it was like a stormy kind of, like a cloudy day, like an overcast day. And um, it, I don't think it was very safe, like, going there because it was, like, raining before and it was, like, a lot of water and shit. So, um, I got to the creek and it was just flooded. But I found this big, like, you know those beach balls? Like, I found one of them and it had, like, an Australian flag on it. So I took it and I crossed the creek in the water. I had shorts on and thongs, so luckily I could cross without, like wetting my fucking pants and my shoes and shit like that so um after i did that i got up i lost one of my fucking thongs actually because the fucking creek was like it was streaming it was like running water so i lost one of my thongs and i didn't want to get it because it was like dangerous and it was like it was like a fucking rapid kind of so i lost my thong and um that was unpleasant so I got to the other side of the creek, and the other side of the creek, there's this um, stadium, there's like a grandstand. And, oh shit, that was fucking weird. Anyways, we got there, well I got there, and um, I was just, there was like a hole in the fence around the grandstand, so I entered there, and I got up onto the grandstand and started throwing this giant fucking ball around, like beach ball. And um, we were like, well, I was like, oh, this is getting boring. I thought I'd try something new, so I just started like throwing it in the air and shit like that. And then out of nowhere, these three, I think these three Lebanese guys or Greek guys, like they were around 18, 19 years old. Um, they, one of them walked up to me and they're like, oh, excuse me. So it was like, he was like mumbling, but I think he said, can we please have that ball? And I said, what? He's like, oh, no, don't worry. I was like, all right. And, um, and then a few minutes later, he walked back and told his friends that I didn't give him the ball. So then his friend, or like, I think it was like two of them, like two more of them, they were like, oi! And then I looked, and then they're like, oh, give us a fucking ball, you can't. And then I like, think like, I was like 11 like, at this time. And um, I just shoot myself. I literally, I didn't shoot myself literally, but I was terrified. Like I thought I was like, I was gonna get jumped and shit like that. That was not a pleasant day for me. I started running, okay? I threw the ball, and I started running with one thong. How stupid would I have looked? Keep in mind, 11-year-old kid running away from these three 19-year-old people, Europeans. They were being not very nice. And um, I got away, but during the process, I started crying because I literally thought I was gonna die. And, um, and, I go there a few days later, I told my dad, and um, he wasn't very happy, so he came down to the park to see if the guys were still there, and they weren't. So he's like, and he noticed like that my, sh like my thumb was gone. And then he was like, where'd your thumb go? And I had to tell him because it was like a fucking stupid story and shit. It was pretty funny how I lost it. 
I told him he laughed, but he was also angry that I went to the creek when it was like flooded, so I kind of got grounded for like fucking two weeks, I'm pretty sure, it was like two weeks. And um, and yeah, that's pretty much the end of the story guys, thanks for listening. I've got uh, another story coming up, it's pretty, involves the creek again, me as a child and um, my little brother. And um, that's going to be next episode of story time and um yeah leave a like and comment if you um if you want to hear more stories if not then i'll just stick to gameplay um thank you guys for watching and peace